Thank you, Martin. Jim, did County make harder work of that today than you would have liked? Um, I don't know. We, we, I thought we started the game well. I thought we looked a little bit tired. Maybe mm. maybe the exertions of Saturday where we played with lots of adrenaline took its toll. But yeah, there was a, a couple of uh, tired looking performances. But um, yeah, you always expect a team when they're 1 0 down to keep going, keep plugging on. Their subs come on. And so it was hard work, but um, we deserved the win. I know as a, an ex-centre half, you'd be delighted about this, the uh, the clean sheet today. Your first one since the 5th of September in the league as well, so a landmark moment today. Yeah, well, I, I don't like one nil wins when I score the back <laughs> post, but um, from a set play. But no, it's a, I'm delighted for Callum, um, especially the way that his day's finished. Um, mm. It was nice for him to be the matchman. How bad is he? Uh, we don't know. Um, um, but we're concerned it might be um, a fracture of some sort, perhaps of the, the tibia. Sorry, the the fibula, the, the support and one, but because the, the 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 impact he got from the side, you know, your shin guards don't work. I mean, the, the noise I think was probably the shin guard, but it was a it was a poor challenge. Yeah, I mean, what did you make of that other tackle? I mean, again for the for, you know we, we talked about it after Matty Warburton's injury, but a deliberate foul again. Well, look, I mean, when you you know I'm watching Matty today the other night, Alan Shearer's talked about or not wanting to talk about kicking people in the head and. And you've got the other pundit talking about, I'd get my team nailing into them and take yellow cards. So that's the culture that's in England. And um, to be honest with you, um, the manager's assured me that that player, that King's not that type of player. But how can we um, defend that uh, when Harry Winters making such wild challenges he made in the first half? So uh, I said to my players, it's not the referee's fault. It's all about to you. You have to have respect for your opponents and uh, each other because you all want to go to work in the end. It's an important three points today, though, isn't it, with that tough start to the new year to come? Well, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not overly worried when you look at the form at the moment, so for the probably down there. Um, this was a tough team. I mean, they, they've come with adventure. Um, they've got Daniels, Mulhern, Westcar, and Jennings all praying up against our back four. Um, we decided to go with the back four, so they need to be protected a little bit better from Harry and uh, Jimmy. Uh, second half, we got the balance a little bit better. Um, like I said, we've still got a lot of work to do. And I said to the lads, we've done done great today, big three points, especially the nature of the results around us. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the end of the year after 23 games, we're not where we want to be. And I think there's lots more to come from this group. And they now have to enjoy what we've done so far, but not too much. And um, we need another three points on Monday, I was going to say Saturday. And then just take each game as it comes. I mean, Salford will be a tough game, but no, no tougher than Alfred in a way. Mm. In terms of the, today's game, did the late kickoff disrupt you in any way today, or do, were you pleased with the way the officials handled it? Well, you got no choice but to give them the uh, the respect of uh, the opportunity to get warmed up properly. So we planned, um, given the time arrival, we expected about ten to three. Uh, we expected, um, you know, the game to kick off about the half three mark. Mm. So we worked forward from that, um, and because we knew early on. But I just disappointed that because I didn't get the information until. Did it. I was told a little bit later, mm. and I'm going around telling all the ball boys to get yourself in out of the cold for another half hour. Um, no, but look, it is what it is. We've had it before, so um, like I said, just the lads got on with it and did the professional thing. And um, like I said, uh, good crowd today, and they, they sort of mm. got going in the second half, and I was delighted for that. And uh, uh, it was, wasn't as entertaining as uh, Saturday's game, but certainly uh, much more important for us in terms of getting a clean sheet and three points, which can only uh, do us the world of good. And just a final word on Darren Stevenson again, the, the man of the match today, and I saw you applaud that decision. Yeah, um, when they announced the NK Electrics with the uh, man of the match, I was expecting Steve O'Halloran to get it. <laughs> um, to be fair, it's when you're the back four, they were all in, all in contention, and um, it'd be nice for Darren to get himself um, a goal. But um, you know, there, there was there was a few contenders, but Darren, Darren, I think on the the week's work, uh, getting the goal on Saturday and what he done today, I think people are sort of seeing, and it was a, again a massive boost, another positive today, a, a boost for him, and he's going to be an important player as we go forward because if we can, we've got Matty Warburton fit now and have a good week's training, and I think uh, the way Harry and Bowen play today, then you know Matty's got nothing to fear about getting into this side, um, and with Darren and Matty and. If we can get Jason back to looking a little bit fresher, I think we'll we'll be looking a good side going into the new year. Jim, apologies because of the late kickoff. We've got to cut that short. But uh, listen, happy new year to you. Thanks very much for your time. Yeah, and happy new year to all the fans.